Okay, so for this Saturday, we are currently playing Myth. This is our fourth game today, so let's give it a go and see what this is all about. I mean, first impressions, the music's very cool, the title screen, the text is very... got a very fiery presentation. Sounds like, um... Yeah, sounds like I'm in for a serious challenge. <laughs> Don't get you started on... Yeah, there's so many things to consider when you're grading things. So, no, this is incorrect. It needs to be approved by this particular strollop of a gentleman. Okay, I mean, that's a, that's a heck of a level. Level 1, the Hades of Realm of the Damned. That's, um, that's quite an opener. Wow, okay, um, blimey, this does not mess around. Welcome to Hades. Here is a skeleton and some imps. Um, okay. So fire button just does that. I mean, as groovy as a dance that is, it probably doesn't do anything. Fire and forward is punch. Well, they sink down like in ghosts and goblins, okay. Up and fire, down and fire. Okay, down and fire does that uh, kick. Oh, what's that? Oh, we can down. Okay, down is pick up. Okay. Um. Why can't we use it? Is it even selected? Because I should really maybe check up on the manual. Nothing there? Well, lots of fire. a copy of this but I haven't played it yet. I was going to say, what was the... the box art must be pretty cool, I'd imagine. Okay, we've got a skeleton in chains. Uh, what have we got here? Um, oh, we died. What is he? Chimera? Green Chimera. So yeah, I'm not sure. We, it looks like we got the fireballs selected, but I'm not sure how. To, I mean, I'm guessing we can shoot out fireballs, but uh, not, so, not sure exactly how to. We could punch and kick skeletons. That's always a bonus. Barbarian it consists of a barbarian bloke chopping some skeletons. Oh, so hmm. I mean that makes sense if we, if we do get an axe later on. Barbarians are very um axy people. I mean, maybe you have the fireballs activated when you take on Com uh, Chimera. Oh, wait a second. Hold down fire. Hmm. So we can fire out fireballs, but... Only in that area? 
How does wait? What's? I don't even know what that is. Oh, it's just points. This was twenty six. Uh, twenty six quid in nineteen ninety two. Try to think what it's like now. How did we? Hmm. How did we shoot out that fireball? When we took on Chimera. Full size black box sounds cool. I was, I was being hopeful and thinking I could just run past him. Oh, and that's it. Oh, wow. That's um, that's a pretty cool game over screen. So you got a skull. He's got multiple heads on top of him. And there's a field of skulls at the bottom. All in all, not the best vacation, two stars. Right. Um. Yeah, we need to study up, don't we? Pray that there's a manual in possession. There is. There's two. Oh, there, there's a comic. No way. Okay, sorry to sort of sidetrack. Oh my god. Okay. So if you can't see all of this, but you can see sort of part of it, that's um. Ah, did this come with the game? That's um It's pretty damn cool. Like I, if I would have known that there was it came with like a free comic, I would have happily bought this. Okay. Um and oh press file to continue? Oh whoops. Were we supposed to Okay, worry about that later. I suppose that would only really be a problem if we advanced far enough like into other levels right uh manual 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 oh <laughs> wow okay so on page five there's something called playing guide to level one if you're experiencing any difficulty in getting to the style of play needed following puzzles okay Kill harpies. Oh, those are the green demons. Okay. They drop extra energy and valuable fireballs. And then it just says use fireballs to kill skeletons until one of them drops a sword. But I don't know how to fire out the fireballs. Oh, wait a second. Keyboard controls greater than, less than. Cycle through items. Okay. So we can cycle through items by either using the greater than or less than keys. Okay. Let's try that. 69 $70. Yikes. just seems like everything's gone up doesn't it it's not just you know stuff like that obviously AAA games are expensive like even the indie games are just like trying it on you know like that seems like you know that average price there is like 20 to 30 quid right so that that's a harpy we got a, oh there we go so we get the fireball from here and then right here we go so you can select the Weapon, so that's just fist. But why couldn't we? Oh, we got it activated. Is there something else we need to do? Or maybe just hunt for more of those harpies.
Don't bow that on me. Okay, and that restores your health. I don't know how to use the um, fireballs though. Mm Oh, wait a second. Okay, so we've got the... What's that? The sword now. Okay. So... Selecting... That. Wait, now we got the fireball? <laughs> what? Um... What am I doing wrong? Oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. I think I understand now. I think, hang on. Just, just for clarification. Right, okay. It's a bit fiddly when there's lots of stuff happening at once, but space, okay. So you can use, you can actually use the arrow keys to cycle through as well as the full stop and comma. And what else? Can you pause it? Let's have a look. Ah, uh, so yeah, nil pick up object. Right, and the manual says cut down Hanin skeleton. So I'm guessing we couldn't do that unless we had the sword. Actually, we need some help from the harpies. So, what, just jab that? Ah, there we go. Um, right. Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Why is it, de why is it decapitated? This is very specific. It's like no wonder people will get confused. Um, make your way down the bottom of the cavern where the now freed skeleton has to be killed and his skull must fall into the flames. So that's what happened when we sort of decapitated him. <laughs> and then it says a demon then rises from the flames and can only be de destroyed with the fireballs. Yeah, you're not... How is this sort of like a puzzle? <laughs> it's just like trial and error, isn't it? Just, yeah, okay. Very weird. Uh, that's exactly what you're doing, Conjure. I suppose. Um, oh, here, here's the guy. Uh, right. 
space. So you kill the fireball. Oh, sorry, you kill the fireballs. You kill the those ones with the fireballs then. Oh, we were, damn it, we ran out of, um, that did not get me, come on, honestly. Not at all. Right, and now we got the, can we grab that? It's <laughs> the laughter. Ah. Switch back to sword. Wait, how did we? Oh, I see. Okay, so you're not just limited to three items. Let's just check again. Right, so, oh yeah, there's actually more than page six. Pick up the demon's trident for use later in the game. Note the trident is only one shot, so care must be taken to use it wisely. Make your way to the top right in the cavern where you will be confronted by the chimera. It's going to be killed, he can only be killed using the trident. And it is advisable that the trident is already selected just before you confront him. Okay. There we go. Uh, is there anything else? Do we just keep walking? Okay, is that the end? That's the end. Well, <laughs> yeah, the end of the whole game. Uh, Skyros Isle of the Sirens. Just gonna say, how much is in this manual? Although I better wait for it to finish loading, because they gave us more stuff to talk about as well. So pause there, what else does it say? Uh, continue, continue your adventure slaying enemies with a sword until you reach the feminine nymph. Approach her only when she beckons or when her head, oh sorry, when her hand is flat. Be very cautious and once close enough, kneel down. This changes the nymph into an extra energy bead, vital for later stages of the game. Oh, when she holds her hand up in front of you, move back until she beckons you to try again and move on in. Okay, let's see if we can put that theory into practice. So we've still got the sword and stuff, we've used the trident. Oh, that move, hang on a moment, that overhead slash, that was like very first samurai once, wasn't it? How did I do that? Is that diagonal? Oh, we're dead. That's not our last slash, surely? Okay. Maybe just... Oh, okay, they just dis... Can we just jump over them? Is that the solution here? <laughs> Oh, she actually, wow, that's a cool voice, so stop there. Oh, wait, do we have to go back? Come closer. Stop. 
Oh wow, you gotta be very You gotta be very precise with that. Okay, well let's put us on the high score table. Right, so does it start us back to which section is it? Okay, that's I'm fine with that. So yeah, how about that? A platform game that actually has you continue without starting at the very beginning. Although I'm not sure if it does give you limited credits. If it does, it doesn't tell you how many. Let me just avoid these guys. Um, stop. Hang on a moment, Nymph. Just punching this knight in the face. Come close. Come close. Stop. Come close. Okay, thank God for that. Uh, that, that excellent. Demi, hey man, how's it going? Really love the design of the hero sprites. Kind of, yeah, the animations with the sword remind me of the... Well, it is it's it is like the first samurai, isn't it? But yeah, the whole... Uh, yeah, the whole artwork's pretty... Pretty amazing. It's very... It's very... Uh, let's say... At the moment, anyway, specific. Like the orders and things where you have to accomplish this stuff. How you doing anyway, Debbie? Um, did you have you already streamed, or are you just uh, started one? I mean, obviously you're not streaming at this <laughs> at this stage. Are you streaming? Ah, uh, okay. If it was a quickie, does that mean you've? Um, I'm guessing you finished cannon fodder then, because when you last left it, there wasn't too much. There wasn't too much left, was there? Oh, do we have to start the very... Oh, does that mean... Oh, no, we... Okay, so we still got the energy. We don't... Don't think we have to see the nymph again. No. God, if only... <laughs> if only they mastered the art of jumping or turning around. Well, I, th I think we're making progress. I don't know how big the game is. It's probably gigantic, isn't it? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. You've raided me enough times. Honestly, don't spoil me. <laughs> you are forgiven. Yeah, honestly, you don't you don't need to say stuff like that. Like you can you know like you could raid one person like six billion times. I won't I won't question it. Why are they suddenly making special sounds? Okay, just goes right through them. Let's 
going on here? Oh, that's Medusa. Oh, she's she's the one making all those sounds. Great, straight to stone. Hmm. It does mention. Do we have a look? I mean, if if it's in the manual, it's fair game. <laughs> I was gonna say, if it wasn't for the manual, it's like, what the hell would I have to do next? Oh, there was a statue? Um... Oh, that one, okay. Statue of the Warrior. What does it say about this then? On reaching the Achilles statue, attack the heel with either fireballs or swords, and this will eventually cause Achilles to crumble, leaving only his shield, which when picked up allows you to run past all remaining enemies at this particular stage. At this stage of the level, extra care must be taken with the joystick controls. Once these are mastered, gameplay should become easier. Medusa is a is around here with her eye bolts. Sorry, M Medusa is around here and her eye bolts are lethal and will turn you to stone. Yep, we discovered that the hard way. Make sure you have selected the shield prior to running into Medusa and then use it carefully to deflect her eye bolts as you make your way across the platforms to stand alongside her. Oh, <laughs> so a quick look at the link. <laughs> it's done, it's over. <laughs> And a giant bird swoops down and it eats him. Okay, so. I'm guessing that's the statue it's referring to. Can you actually, sounds weird, can you actually do like a, a low attack? I mean, that is the statue it's referring to, isn't it? I'm not even sure if I'm doing damage to this guy. Maybe I should look at the um let's look at the sword controls. Uh, no, not looking for the controls without fire, preferably with... Uh, right, so left is stab, right is backslash, and diagonal is left neck slash. But that's it. Attack is equal. I don't understand, I don't understand. But maybe this isn't the right statue. Maybe there's another statue that uh, we went past. I can't remember that far back though. Okay, well let's try other. Let's have a explore. I'm guessing down is uh, all the way down is death, but let's find out. Um, 
Yep. <laughs> I guess so. Can I actually go back? No. Can anyone actually remember if they if we went past a statue on the second stage? Um yes, yeah, have, have a look at the description again. Uh the I think it's pronounced Achilles statue. Right. Um, <laughs> so I'm just studying studying up on Google and images, and it looks very different to the ones we're seeing here because there's two statues on here. So I'm guessing that neither of them are the, the Achilles statue we're after. So there's two of those small statues, and then of course Medusa and her eye shots that uh, render us completely to stone. And I'm guessing we have to defeat her with the shield. Don't think there's any other way around it. Hmm, okay, I'll tell you what, we'll ignore... Is there a quick way to... No, wait for that to hit zero. Was it something that we were supposed to do on stage two? I know it sounds bogus, and it probably is. Um, question. Does this game... Is this game potential has potential of soft locking yourself? Because I thought if there was a statue on stage two and we, you know, we've moved on to stage three and then, you know, it was impossible to go back to stage two again. Yeah, the first, I mean, yeah, there was actually, there was actually a manual, so we used that and it told us like, basically the beginning stages and even then that seemed like very very sort of particular like I would have never thought to you know like use the fireballs on the skeletons to get the to get the sword from them but like, yeah like you would just think you could just defeat the skeletons and get the sword anyway oh yeah we need to use Oops.
the hits you take remind me, I think it was Moonstone that do that, has that same sound effect, doesn't it? Oh, uh, Demi, if you're still about, how did you, yeah, how did you enjoy the very last, uh, phase of the very last mission? Because that one, that one took me forever to figure out. I mean, well, I was going to say, not so much because of the stupid time limit, but because of the objectives. Because it said, like, destroy enemy buildings. I remember that. And then it had to destroy the computer as well. It's like, well, why didn't you tell us that the computer... <laughs> had to be destroyed too. I think they just straight up cheated with that. Ah, helps to helps to select the trident. Yeah, that's right. They had uh, turrets as well. That was fun. Is there anything down there? Or just some more hell? I don't know if I've been down here actually. Or have I? Just lots of health. Just wonder if there's any hidden bits here. Oh, let's not jump into the fire. Yeah, it's uh, yeah, it's definitely got some good stuff going here. Just kind of marked by its um, you know, difficulty and you know, sort of like if it has to, if it has to give you like, if it has to tell you what specifically what to do in the manual, it's kind of like saying, yeah, you're never gonna figure this one out on your own.
Um. Stop. Come close. Stop. Oh, really? Wow. We moved one pixel forward and that was it. Oh, well, where'd she go? <laughs> um, okay. Wait, isn't that the statue of uh, Achilles? You know, this is a bit weird. So, what I'm going to do, I think we'll get, we'll, we'll die. Start on this stage, but well, that looks like the Achilles uh, statue, doesn't it? So that kind of sucks because, yeah, I was right to um to say that we got soft lot there because we did. We're supposed to attack his um heel. And then get a shield from that. But, you know, we couldn't get back to stage two. That's a bit, uh, that's kind of scummy. I mean, I suppose again, refer to the manual. Okay, well, let's hope the, um, and uh, is still here, so we will, you know, we'll get more energy. She is. Stop. Come close. Stop. Come close. Stop. What was that sound? Oh, here we go. Right, so, and that's how we got the shield. Okay, that's uh, great and also ridiculous. So do we have this? There we go, so we've got the shield there. I mean, they must have realised into this, how was it now, stage three, they must have realised that if you died and then, like, um, you know, continued and you still didn't have the shield, that you were essentially just, like, soft-locking all that time. Because you'd be, you know, you know, you'd be fumbling for a while there, but, okay, whatever. Um... There we go. That's kind of... Okay, that's, that is pretty cool. No, we don't want to... <laughs> that's what happens when we do down on fire. Bashing kick. So, forward on fire does that. <laughs> I actually don't need the health, do we? So 
fires off three shots? Or is it one, then three? Does he have a command? We can't. Okay, so that's like um, that's like an invisible barrier. Um, hmm. What, what am I missing here? At this stage of the level, extra care must be taken. Oh, okay, when she looks away, quickly select the sword and attack her neck. Right. And do we have the sword? Yes, we do. That's not how to do it. <laughs> Oh, it's such a long fall down as well. Yeah, not it's not like the whole playthrough, but they gave well, no, it's like um, hang on a moment. So this is uh, yeah, we got this from the Hall of Light. This is on page uh, five and six. Here we go, playing guide to level one. Okay, so all this is just the first level. So yeah, Medusa, the Medusa section, that's where it ends after you fulfill that bit. And space. Nearly missed. <laughs> One hundred points. Ah, uh, what now then? Just leap of faith. Okay. And on what's <laughs> we're hearing nasty snarling noises. Pick up the Medusa head to use in your final confrontation on this level. The huge three-headed hydra stands before you. Sorry, stands between you and level two. Use Medusa's head in conjunction with the fire button and attack each uh, hydra head individually. So how close are we to finding? Oh, there's, there's the, there she is. What a beauty. And there's the Medusa's head, equally as attractive. How do we use it though? Are we doing need to get closer? Oh, we need to have it selected, of course we do. from there can we um okay <laughs> expensive place to see 100 per head yeah
No, I think we did actually take quite a bit of damage there, but uh, we just sort of brute forced it. I think that's how it was. I think that's that was how it was supposed to be intended. But uh, thanks for the GGs, and uh, yeah, now, ah, huh, we are pretty much in the dark. Okay, excellent, and we're back to where the hell are we? This Heimdall's boat. And fist beats axe every time. There we go. Oh, okay. So that's our first weapon. Nice. Love the light, lightning effects. Wait, what's that? Is that a raven? Okay, so we can't get further than that. Um, I don't know what these guys are, Vikings or whatever. Are there other commands with the axe? This seems to be left and right. I'm just going to pause it for a bit. Um, so yeah, no more device, unfortunately. Uh, Axe, left to right, chop, down is chop upwards. Uh, doesn't seem to do anything actually. Down and fire. Oh, okay, we just got struck by lightning. Don't understand why. Ah, yes, 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 health on the top right. Yeah, it's the sort of thing where um, a lot of things just like one shot you. Do we decapitate? What is it supposed to resemble? Like, um, is that like a Hydra head on the, um, on the boat? So can we like, can we like decapitate it? Nah, that's a stretch. Oh, wait a second. It's up and fire, not down and fire. Are we supposed to do that to the raven? Right, that's how we one shot. Okay, can we chop? see any clues and the lightning is that just is that just random oh wait there goes the raven for some reason Why did uh, the raven suddenly... Why is that just going back and forth?
Okay, so it doesn't seem to be damaging us, but I don't know what the... I don't, first of all, I don't know how we managed to get it to fly. And I don't know what we're supposed to do next. Or maybe we have to let go of the axe? I do love the way you just get to uh, strap by lightning. What a great effect, but uh, it kind of sucks. <laughs> okay, looks like we we nearly reached the hour anyway. Um, this one's been this one's been a pretty intriguing experience. They've obviously put in a lot of effort into this. Um, I. I hope that that one spot where you know if like if you don't have the shield at that spot you know you immediately get soft locked. I hope there's no more you know stuff like that because if there is uh, that kind of lessens the enjoyment I reckon. And of course yeah it's uh it's pretty brutally difficult as well which uh, you know is not a bad or a good thing it just puts off some people. Some people just want to dive right into a game and when they can't do anything well for the first five minutes they just immediately bail out. I say yeah, it's there's there's an interesting game in there. You need I mean, you do need a lot of patience with it though. But definitely plus points for the comic. Which I hope was uh, provided um, with the box set that you buy back in the day, and yeah, it's probably you know what it's probably available solo, just like standalone. That comic's probably like two hundred dollars. I don't know. Maybe there's just a limited number of enemies, and once you dispatch of them all, then. The raven comes to life. Hey, Maker. Hello. How's it going? Is this your first time witnessing this game? Same here. If so. And yeah, we randomly get struck by lightning too. But uh, yeah, unfortunately, we're just about to wrap this one up. But yeah, hope all is well. Oh, you've played it loads, you just never been... Oh, okay. I was going to say, the ordeal up to um, Medusa, that was like the whole of... Um, that was all of level one. This is just the start of level two. I'm still trying to figure out what to do. But uh, 30 seconds left. I am none the wiser. Unless that's a weapon... It probably isn't. Nah, I'm not sure. Yeah, it's um, it's all. I thought it was like multiple, um, yeah, like stages and stuff. But um, yeah, those are all those little stages where it's just like basically level one part A, B, C. Okay, and time to wrap up the game. Are we going to get struck by lightning? There we go, as if on cue. Okay, hope everyone enjoyed that. See you next time.